Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Let's talk about what smart money doesn't want you to see. You have to uh, think like uh, the institutions when trading uh, in these markets, okay? Um, if you want to make money and gain the experience that you need and to take smart setups within the markets, you're going to have to spend some time really understanding what's going on. What do you see unfolding on your charts to uh, to pick the direction in which you need to trade. Now, you guys already know what I talk about time and time again on this channel, market structure. If you're following behind, um, I don't know, so-called trading gurus that try to point you in certain directions or maybe people or you see all these advertisement and marketing schemes trying to get you to buy certain indicators or courses, the best way I found to be able to understand and trade the markets was when I, I went back, okay, and basically just kind of erased everything on my charts and started over to refresh and reboot my mindset. And I highly recommend if you have not, and you're a struggling trader today, if you have not simply erased, meaning started trading from it and looking at the charts from a naked standpoint, um, then I would recommend doing so, so that you can kind of gain some clarity of what it looks like to have all those indicators off your charts. It's the best way to be able to trade. It's the correct way to trade. That's the way I feel. If anybody's telling you any differently, then um, I would say that they're probably uh, pointing you in the wrong direction. But again, I'm talking about pure market structure and being able to read and follow price action. I talk about you know the market making higher highs and higher lows and lower lows and lower highs. You have to be able to see, and what you should know by now that the market can change, and there can be shifts in the uh, the market, meaning uh, reversals at any given point. But that's the purpose of why we use our higher base or higher time frame charts to determine the overall direction and trade in that direction. As long as you're trading in the overall direction um, of the market, from what you see, because that's what trading is about. It's a perceptual a game uh, or business in a sense of understanding what you see on your charts. Have you ever heard the term trade what you see? I'm telling you, it's it's the pure, honest truth, okay? Yes, you know, we have news events that occur, economic things that occur that can shuffle the markets, you know, but we have to be able to really, if you want to make it in this business, is understand what's going on in the markets. Today, I want to talk about a trade that I took and show you over, uh, into the overnight Asian session um, and what I saw unfolding. You know, first and foremost, what you can see, and you should have by now been able to see, is that the market has been making higher highs and higher lows. So the only type of trades you should be taking, if you are a beginner or um, or even an experienced trader, is really trying to stay in the direction of the higher base chart and trade on pullbacks to key areas of demand. I trade supply and demand, and I have a certain strategy in how I do so. First time viewers watching this video for the first time, there's tons of videos on the channel to where I go into detail about the uh, the strategy. And we have some successful, profitable traders that have passed, a, you know, many of them passed prop firm evaluations. Many of them have been trading with their own personal funds. Um, and, you know, loads of them are part of our Discord community. So if you're interested in joining the Discord, the link is down below. Without further ado, let's talk about what I was seeing, my thought process um, leading up to the trade that I took into the early part of the overnight session after the market opened back up last night. So, and I'm Eastern time, just by the way, okay? So the market was making these higher highs and higher lows up until yesterday's trading session, and then we started breaking to the downside. What does that mean? Breaking structure to the downside when we started breaking below these areas here. I said, okay, we are pushing lower, so let me, uh, at that point, my mindset shifts bias from sh uh, long to short. So what that said was that when the market did that and then I saw it pushing lower, if the market turns back around, okay, because we were pushing lower yesterday, all right, the market started selling off. If the market turns back around and we get a shift back to the upside where the market starts to even take out a um, minor area structure, okay, then you then you can start looking for uh, pullbacks to go long again, all right? Uh, because this is the high right here that it made yesterday, all right? So this is our major high resting up here. But if we start to see where the market starts pushing higher, and again, this is on a 120 range chart, and I only use this chart here. I I use it daily, but I look at it from an overall standpoint to kind of uh, depict the higher um, or depict the overall direction, give me some sense of bias uh, within the market. But if we start to shift back up and start to take structure back out to the upside, 
minor areas of structure for for example and we had this major high here sitting up here you can still look for opportunities to go long but just be mindful that even when the market is breaking structure or minor areas of structure back to the upside the overall trend still could be to the downside so you just have to be careful uh, when you're looking for pullbacks to go long once we break structure back to the upside um to not be trading meaning um if you're looking to go long not to be trading into an area of resistance or at or, or into an area of supply off of a higher base chart because then you know you can do yourself some damage but anyways i saw the market pushing lower so i moved down to my lower base chart okay and on the 60 range uh, this is where the chart i use to mark up a lot of my zones at meaning my either supplier demand as you can see i have one rest i have one marked up right here now we can see that the market's clearly breaking structure lower on the 60 range you can see it's taking out some areas right here to the left hand side of the chart always look to see what's going on to the left hand side of the chart you know um and always make sure to choose to take a look at what's above you what's below you even from a higher base chart because again you don't want to be taking long entries into an area of resistance or something that's uh resting right above you price action so as the market was moving lower here and to the overnight session or, or into the yesterday's trading session at the close i said okay Let's see what happens, you know, if the market is going to start to regain some of its composure, maybe breaking some areas back to the upside. Again, this is the high sitting up here at 19,023 from yesterday. But what I saw was that the market started making these small little higher highs and higher lows back to the upside um, towards the close of yesterday. All right. Around 330 Eastern time. But then it pushed up and it started taking out structure, you know, taking out these, this, this area of structure right here. It took out. Uh, 18,700 which is a round number as well so it broke higher it pulled back okay and then we got a uh when we got this pullback right here into the base towards the close the market opened back up and it started ranging right here all right i looked to the left hand side of my chart and i saw that okay we have already broken through uh, an area of minor structure back to the upside and i looked over here and i see okay the market has just broke through an area okay let's see if it's going to really show its hand and want to continue pushing higher maybe even possibly taking out some 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 areas of liquidity resting above there was liquidity resting right above this um this high right here okay now when we broke this area structure right here to the upside it pulled back all right and we hadn't broke to that area the market opened back up it did kind of uh, push up a little bit at the opening of yesterday's overnight session and then it pulled back I had interest to go long because I saw that we had already broken through the minor area structure and then two, taking out some area of liquidity. I'm not, excuse me, not, not taking it out quite yet, but saw this area of liquidity resting above at this, this, this area right here. All right. So when I saw that, I said, okay, let me see if I can get a pullback to go long. Okay. As long as they continue showing some bullish momentum to the upside to take out and run this 18,725 area. So I'm going to show you a clip. Uh, and this is on the 60 range chart. I didn't take the trade on the 60, but I'm showing you what was setting up what I saw, what we did have liquidity resting over here and what it did here, picking out structure. So I moved over to my lower 20 uh, time frame, my lower base chart, uh, my 24 range. And then uh, this was into the overnight session. Sorry, right here. All right. So this was that high. Where was it at? Uh, right here. Right here, as you can see. OK, so. Um, what I saw there was that we, again, on the 24 range was that we were doing the same thing. We started breaking areas of structure to the upside, okay? Pushed higher, pulled back, broke structure right here to the upside. And then it started moving sideways right at the close, all right? So, but on the on the 60 range, that's where I saw, okay, we had liquidity resting, you know, above this area, above 20, uh, uh, 25, okay? So, that's what I did yesterday into the, uh, the Asian session or I should say into the overnight session as it, as it opened back up. When it pushed up here and pulled back, there's an area of, you can see it, demand resting right here. Now, I will say I was aggressive on this entry at the opening pretty much. Um, after I saw it kind of doing this, you know, um, moving sideways into the into the close of yesterday's session, and then it pushed up it pulled, when it pulled back, and then we got these two bullish uh, candles here to... The upside, I went long because I saw over on the 60, that 60 range chart, that it was some liquidity resting right here where it had pushed up, pulled back, and broke higher. Liquidity resting right here above that area. So I waited for an opportunity to go long on my uh, 24 range chart. I saw that uh, what it was doing here was some bullish momentum to the upside, and I went ahead and took an aggressive entry going long with, with, with hopes 
in faith that it would push higher and take out liquidity over on, you know what I saw um, above that area. So, but this would have been your opportunity right here to go long if you would have waited for the pullback because this was you know uh, a demand area right here back down to this area right here. Now, uh, when it came back here. You can already see that it was kind of mitigated when it pushed up here and it pulled back with this candle right here. So you could have went long in this area here. But if you wait for it to come back right here, yeah, I mean, it was already positioning itself. It was breaking structure higher. So you could have waited for it to come back. But again, to me, this is not a full on high probability trade because when it moved away and started, you know, uh, pushing higher right here, it came back. It this 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 uh, demand zone right here was already mitigated before it pulled back, I meaning it had already pushed up and came back to that area. So, but that doesn't mean that it, it won't give you a second opportunity um, and you know reject that area again. I just like to trade you know fresh zones. But anyways, I saw what was taking place there, and I looked for the opportunity to go long. And here is the the trade that I took that I posted over in the Discord community. And again, if you're not part of our Discord community, uh, maybe you want to try to you know come over and, and be a member the link is down in the description portion of the video and it pushed up and I was aiming for that area uh well 25 was really the area that I was that, that I would have you know would would have really taken out at because I saw what was going on over in the 60 range chart but I took this trade and I ended up closing out at around 23 points to the upside on this trade here and then my stop was resting back here but that's what I like to do and so many other traders who are part of the discord community is to actually um, you know post our entries post our trades that we take and share with the community members that's one thing we do do on the uh, over on the discord community so again it's free if you're interested in joining the link is down in the description portion of the video uh, it gives other traders the opportunity to even ask questions. Hey, why'd you take that trade? Can you give me some pointers? So I love to do that over in the Discord community as well as other traders too. So this was a, a nice trade, but it all boils down to really being able to understand and what you see taking place from a higher standpoint down to your lower base charts because at the lower base charts is, what, where, is where you're going to enter, uh, engage, and pull the trigger and taking uh, trade opportunities. So these setups that you're going to see unfolding on your charts um, that could be on a lower, a higher base chart or a lower base chart. But again, like this is my 60 range chart, and I saw what was what was happening after it broke through a minor area structure, moving back to the upside, and that there was liquidity resting after that break right here. There was liquidity resting right there. So, you know, the the institutions, the the market makers, they are the ones that are, are um, setting things up, and 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 they, they do so methodically across the charts. Uh, one to get traders engaged and to trap them a lot of times because their end game is to take out um, liquidity. All right, they have to make money, so they they know people went short in this area right here, and this could have been a trap they made right here to get traders to uh, potentially maybe want to continue running short or or, or uh, fill. Uh, more positions to go short, and you can see what happened here when the market got back to this area here. What did it do? People stepped back into the market. Traders did to go short. Then it goes sideways. When you see that kind of unfolding after it's already taken out some structure back to the upside, and you see to the left hand side of your chart that there's an area of liquidity that uh, is waiting to be taken out, and you know traders. A lot of people don't, they, they, they have a hard time reading this stuff and seeing this, but I saw what was going on here and I saw the breaker structure and I saw the liquidity and I saw them moving sideways after, you know, um, sellers set back into the market. It started going sideways here. This was just an opportunity for them to feel themselves to, to uh, go up there and grab this area of liquidity back to the to the upside. All right. And lots of times, you know, you, you can see what they did here. They went up there, they grabbed liquidity and they moved the market back back lower. But again, we're starting to move higher here. What you'll see uh, most times after there is a area of liquidity swept or, or grabbed or taken out, ran through that area, then the market will, you know, maybe um, pause and it start to move back in the opposite direction that's just a means of them being able to uh position themselves again to continue pushing the market in this case here higher now where will the market actually go you know no one really knows the, the, the true answer the true answer to that but that's where we kind of pay close attention to what's going on and overall right now what i see is because we're breaking structure to the downside or have been now we've kind of taken some areas back out to the left hand side of the chart, even on the higher base chart, the 120, then they could continue, you know, maybe possibly run, running higher. But again, we could still shift lower um, because, you know, we had this this major high up here. It hasn't taken that area out and it may not today. 
but it could. We don't know. Uh, but right now, you can kind of just trade what you see. I mean, we kind of we had this high here. We had this low sitting down here, and the market is uh, can can do can go either way. I mean, it can push up. It can it can push it can push lower because we're in but we're in the in the middle or trading uh, in between this 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 leg to the downside right now. Okay, so. It, it breaks this area here, then you already know what's going to take place. It's going to can probably, you know, pull back and maybe push higher, but that'll provide more of a honest direction uh, uh, as far as what the market could actually uh, do. Push up, break uh, higher means of structure, this major structure here, and then pull back and then it could go long. Um, right now, we broke, you know, some, some structure to the downside and we kind of rebroke some back to the upside. And now we're in the middle. So just be careful uh, in regards to um, the type of trades you're, you're taking or looking to take. Uh, because we are, we could, we could take this high out here. All right. That's a major area structure or, you know, the market can reject any area and start to push lower, but allow the charts to show you what it's trying to do. Think like smart money. Think like the institutions. What are the market makers doing? How are they trying to trick me? And do not try to be fooled by their trickery because they love to set up traps to stop traders out. That is their goal is to take your money. Okay. So be able to, uh, to smart, make smart trades based on what you see on the markets. Uh, you don't need a bunch of indicators to do so. If you're trading based on or using a strategy centered around, um, you know, indicators, then more than likely you're going to be um, get stopped out. You're going to get into a move way too late, um, or you're going to get into a move as the move halfway through the move as has already started. Okay, but that's all I have to share with you guys today. Just want to give you a full rundown of the trade that I took and how to be cautious out there, what to look for when you're trading. You know, again. A tip or, or, or a big piece of advice that I'm giving is that if you see structure starting to be taken out, in this case, you're like, you know, example, back to the upside, the breaking through a minor area structure. And then you also see where we have maybe uh, a first area or an area of liquidity resting above. More than likely, they're aiming for that area, which I just showed you over on, you know, across the charts. Um, but, you know, that's all I have for you. Just be very mindful of what's going on on the charts. If you're interested in joining and becoming a uh, Discord member, all right. Find that link down in the description portion of the video. It's free to actually join and become a Discord member. So what are you waiting for? If you are one of those people who who or who DM me or send me comments, meaning direct message messaging me, asking how you can become an elite member, there's a link right below in the description portion of the video, uh, right below the Discord link that says elite member. Okay, click on that link. Once you click on that, you'll see two tiers pop up. You'll see one, there's a $4.99 and then a $6.99 tier. The $6.99 tier is the Elite Channel Membership or uh, Elite Channel Supporter tier. That's the tier you want to choose. That's the tier where you get the trade breakdowns where I go in detail about trades. I take um, just basically walking you through my mindset, what I was thinking, what I was seeing, as well as the video playlist, which is a series of videos that I've hand selected off this channel here so you don't have to watch over 800 videos um, that really go into detail about the strategy and how I trade. As well as, you know, I drop from time to time other private uh, videos covering certain topics like I did one a few weeks ago covering market structure. So if you want access to become an elite member, make sure to click on the link below the Discord link below and choose the tier that is $6.99 that will put you uh, allow you to become an elite member. OK, it's only $6.99 a month for all those that choose to sign up. Uh, outside of that, that's all I have. If you're not a current subscriber, please go ahead and click on that sub button now. Become a key, uh, a, a member and a community member part of the channel here. And uh, make sure to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss one of the uploads. That is all I have for you today. If you found value in the content, please drop a like on the video. I would not be trading on Monday because Monday's a holiday, okay? So please be safe out there over the holiday weekend, and I'll see you back over, uh, you know, back here on Tuesday. Take care.